Is this going to be a really terrible idea? Absolutely yes. Time flies when you're having fun. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. My problem solving abilities tend to diminish as we get sleepier. <laughs> now is when it starts to get like properly difficult. Hello and welcome to my feral era. It is time for me to sew for 24 hours. For what purpose? I have a lot of work to do and if you can't take things to the absolute extreme, what are you doing with your life? Okay, there are a couple of rules. One is I have to finish this cape back here because that is my current project and that's on a deadline. And I figured, you know what? I could spend all week on this or I could cram all of those hours into one day <laughs> and then have the rest of the week to take care of the other things that I have to do. I'm actually really excited about this project and it, it will be a joy to work on, I hope. Famous last words. Rule number two, no sewing machinery past 2 a.m. <laughs> Rule number three, must get up and stretch every hour. Oh yeah, and I also can't do anything too noisy between like 11 and the end of this because I do have neighbors. I think they try and sleep between those hours, maybe. I also have a couple of other projects that I might get distracted with and start those also when I get bored of the cape. Yeah, let's, let's get to work. I need a nap now. <laughs> so very fortunately, we have some help with the stretching portion of this challenge. And that is our sponsor for today, which is Copilot. Copilot is a really fantastic app that I've been using for a few weeks now, and it has been such a game changer. It is a fitness app, which I know sounds wild for this genre of YouTube content, but hear me out because this is the only thing in my journey of scoliostic delight that has actually successfully got me to regularly maintain a fitness routine. Basically what you do is they have you answer a few questions in the beginning, they match you up with your own personal coach who will take your needs, your fitness level, your limitations into account and will develop a workout routine for your needs. It is so cool. If you're looking for strengthening, if you're looking to improve flexibility or mobility, and if you're like me and you have severe social anxiety, you're not. You can do them completely on your own time. You can do them at home. You can do them at the gym. So having it be virtual and having the ability to do it on my own, but also having that accountability, that has been the absolute perfect formula for actually getting me to do these things. So I have some upper body stretches. I have shoulder and neck stretches. I have lower body stretches. I have a total full body stretch if I feel like I really need something intense. So thank you Copilot for sponsoring this video, for enabling these absolute shenanigans, and for finally giving myself the physical activity routine that I have been looking for for many years. There's a link in the description box below if you would like to follow that and try Copilot out for yourself. There's a cheeky little free trial in there. Go forth, enjoy. I hope you love it as much as I do, and let's get on with this little challenge. Behold the current state of my very clean workroom. 24 hours from now, it will not look like this, so enjoy. First things first, I want to start off with some designing. I have a couple of projects that I want to get some inspiration for and plot out. The Pinterest feed is killing it this morning. Oh my god, this look at the piggy. Look at him go. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Wait. Okay. Today's gonna be really interesting. I didn't really sleep very much last night, but I had this waking fever dream that I was doing day work on a Lord of the Rings production for Broadway, and I was working on correcting the hem on the Galadriel gown, and it was the most gorgeous gown. I know exactly what the fabric looked like too and felt like I could feel it. It was a silk satin, but it was very drapey, but not a charmeuse. Like it had more structure than a silk charmeuse, but it wasn't quite as stiff as like a duchess satin. I wonder if it exists. Anyway, the TLDR is I don't have the fabric for that, but I would still like to design it and just, just see, see what it looked like. And there was also some really interesting like beading detail, which incidentally, Noelle from Costuming Drama was the one who did originally and was teaching me how to do it in the dream. It was these like squiggles of 
like metal paillette sequins just sort of squiggled around like this tiny, tiny, tiny. And then over top of that was a layer of just sort of randomly dotted tiny glass seed beads. And then at the ends of these had sort of larger crystal droplets. Like the whole dress, the whole skirt of the dress was like rain. It was so cool. Anyway, <laughs> maybe one day I'll get around to making this, but don't get your hopes up. I've got a lot to do in the meanwhile. <laughs> we have... A Heathcliff! Hello! Welcome! <laughs> what are we doing today? Oh, well... It's like is it 10? 10? Oh my god, it's 10 already. Time flies when you're having fun. I have some energy this morning, so I want to capitalize on that. Um, and also, whilst I am permitting myself to use a sewing machine to get these sleeves in, because that's a big... There's the sleeves and the facing for this are the two big machine bits that need to happen. I also have to make a belt for this. Okay, first things first is this, though. That's Heathcliff. Heathcliff is my fabulous assistant slash now co-sewer. Heathcliff is working on a bit of a menswear project and so that's what's happening here in the background. What was I gonna do? We're off to a really great start. It is the hour, 1407 minutes. <laughs> I'm currently in the process of <sighs> stitching together the cape, which is going well so far. I have done one seam. I have not broken a needle, a needle which I thought I was, hence the safety glasses. Anyway, there's like five layers of wool in this and it's a lot, um, but magically we have managed to get through that first seam without breaking a needle which I think is thanks to the last one being broken. <laughs> so Heathcliff took one for the team there. Do you have anything to say for yourself? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Heathcliff is trying to work and I'm being distracting. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Deeply, deeply insightful. Okay, this is, this is the worst part, but once I get through the, the seams, I have three more seams. Oh, two more. Two more, but then I want to go back and reinforce the top shoulder edge because this pal is heavy. Uh, it is 11 past four. I have to make a belt which involves leather and smashing things. So I feel like I should do that before it gets too late. Heathcliff is making lots of progress over there. I'm making moderate progress. Would you like a biscuit? <laughs> Piggies would like a biscuit. finish the cape and I don't think I'm gonna, I'm like, what if I can't do it? This definitely is starting to sound like more than 14 hours work. <sighs> and I was like, maybe I'll just work on seven different projects and I'll finish some of them. No, what am I, what am I talking about? I'm not going to finish an entire sewing project in 24 hours. But you will be 24 hours further along in the project. Yes, 
this is true. This is fact. I will also be exhausted. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see before I get. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, kind of grateful for random um, punk band down on the street for single-handedly keeping me awake tonight. <laughs> So it is around 7 p.m.-ish, and I have finished the little hand sewing bits that I had to do on the facing, which means I am now free to press all of my seams. This ended up taking not an, uh, an insignificant amount of time. Uh, there are <laughs> four seams in this, so it's not that much, but you know, these seams are thick, and they definitely require a bit of spraying, a bit of pressing, a bit of clappering just to make sure that they stay nice and super flat and super nice and pressed. It is that glorious time of the evening that I feel like I'm actually weirdly the most productive because everyone goes home and stops emailing you and calling you and needing your immediate attention and you're just free to just do your work. I am very excited to be here. I am very sleepy but also I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very positive for the next at least couple of hours. <laughs> One thing, however, that I am noticing is that while my function is still relatively okay, my problem-solving abilities tend to diminish as we get sleepier <laughs> into the wee hours. As you can see, the shoulders are fairly subdued here. Theoretically, they're nice pleated shoulders and they should sort of stand up like this but because they're so heavy there's so much wool in this they just sort of want to weigh themselves down so i kind of feel like it might be in my best interest to work in some sort of shoulder padding sleeve support just to get this to anchor itself a bit more firmly and to have some nice a nice crisper shoulder line this is going to require so much prototyping <laughs> and experimentation and poking and prodding to see if I can get this, you know, to find out the best situation, the best solution to this problem. Do I feel like doing that right now? No, I don't. Also, like, do I trust myself to come up with the best solution for this now? No, but this also, it's just gonna get worse as the evening goes on and the minute I stitch the facings down to the lining, that kind of seals the deal. So like, I kind of have to deal with this like now. Okay, let's proceed with tarlatan and padding. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything happens for a reason and Today's reason is tarlatan in the shoulders. I think, I think, let's give this a go. It is 11.21 currently. Uh, I, definitely feel like <laughs> I am slowing down a bit. Maybe I will get some more uh, energy in a minute, but I think I'm not really doing myself any favors by sitting here and getting nice and comfy and doing this hand sewing. This is a very relaxing task. This would have been the end of a long day when I was working in theater. I have worked 16 hour days. They are very exhausting. <laughs> Wouldn't necessarily recommend them. We were doing real rough uh, a, a little while ago, but now, now is when it starts to get like properly difficult. We've been at this for 18 hours now, which kind of gets me to thinking how this is, in some of the more extreme cases, the number of hours that people working in the like Shein sweatshops are working. 
18 hours is positively ridiculous. Like, I'm dysfunctional as a human right now. <laughs> Certainly the work that I'm producing is not my best work. To definitely can say that. But also, like, while I can function, like, while I can, like, put a needle through fabric still, uh, my, my abilities to, I mean, I, 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 have, I have said this, but my, my abilities to think creatively and to problem solve and to be like rational about the work that I'm doing are rapidly diminishing. I cannot imagine working in a situation where you have to produce a professional product if you run into absolutely any issue, or at least if I were to, run into absolutely any issue in this state, I would just, like, I would not be able to handle it in, in a way that is productive, you know. I've finished the hand sewing bit. That... Oh my god. Uh, I finished the hand sewing, the applique work that I was meaning to do. I was banking on the fact that maybe I would wake up a little bit, but I'm actually quite dreading inserting the back lining on this thing. I mean, it's either that or doing the piecing on this, which I'm equally dreading. I had this very clever idea to sort of try and gaslight my body into thinking that it was sleeping while still working so that I could wake up at another hour and feel kind of like refreshed and like ready to go for the last couple of hours. I just had one little lamp and it was just so nice and comfy. And I thought, you know, if it's dark and I'm just like looking at one spot, maybe it would be kind of restful. I'm pretty sure I like <laughs> low key fell asleep between every stitch. See, if I turn off all the lights and like look at one fixed point and like dissociate for six hours, will that not be like sleep? I don't think that's how sleep works. <laughs> what time is it? 4.22. And it just took me three hours, nearly three hours <laughs> to put these shoulder pads in. Well, I have shoulder padding, but at what cost? I'll come back to this in a bit. Let's go try something else. Well, folks, we made it. It is half past seven the following morning. And we are still sewing, or at least we're still sewing. 
as of about two minutes ago, I have stopped. I can't speak to the quality of this sewing. I think this might be some of the worst sewing I've ever accomplished. Because I have a feeling that there are some things that I'm going to be have I'm going to have to be undoing when I have a rational brain. But you know, it is what it is. It was a an experiment that we certainly accomplished <laughs> not very well. There were definitely some points in the night where I was just, the pace that I was working was so slow that it was just not worth it. I feel like when you're in any art school, there is this expectation that at least a few times a term, you will be pulling all-nighters. But I had this rule where I would not pull all-nighters. I would rather have taken a, a little like three hour nap at some point in the evening, woken up at 4 a.m. and then finished the project before class, you know, pushing myself to stay up late, 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 and then all night and then go to class or whatever. It always resulted in work that was avoidably subpar. But you know, having a little bit of sleep meant that I was able to work more efficiently and I was able to problem solve better and I was able to have more creative ideas that would ultimately make the project better. So this project turned out pretty much as I expected it to, in that it was very slow going. <laughs> there were definitely some avoidable mistakes made um, that didn't need to happen. Thanks again to Copilot for sponsoring these shenanigans. For the amount of garbage that I feel at the end of this, at least stiffness is not one of those things. Check out the link in the description if you are interested in checking them out. So was this worth it? No. Was it fun? I mean, no. <laughs> Cheers to all of you who can actually pull all-nighters and still be functional human beings. I am not one of those people. <sighs> We've made it. We're done. We have accomplished the goal. <sighs> Bye.